M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. So we're looking at a DIY all-star node that I've got on my bench here. You can see a Raspberry Pi, SD card, CM108, Bofeng, AAAS, and a couple of buck converters. Now, every now and again, when you're listening on Hubnet and other all-star nodes, if you listen here... Now it's not too bad. There's a very, very slight whine in the background, but it's it's quite faint in this case. And this Bofong used to look like this. Okay. Now, the point of this video is about earthing and grounding, so you don't get that whine. I just turn mine down. The way I have done it in this case is you just need to make sure you've got good, good grounding. So you've got a, quite a big solder joint there. I know it's messy, but it's there. Right to the case I've put it. Also, here on the side, I've got one coming from the power supply, but also going to a second point here on the Raspberry Pi. The other, I suppose, ground earth we've got is straight from the Pi, the blue wire, which it should be black, really, going back to the buck converter. And once I've got that, if I snip one of these wires, the wine will come back. In total flat, flat footed, let me know. Um, and the, not much else. If uh, I move away from uh, this, it's so going to sound I'm better as well. You, Jay, but I'm going to uh, duck out on the next over because I want to come to That's just a cheap bow phone. There's a Kenwood there. Sounding fine. And, you know, the more earthing you provide, the shorter you make these wires. Obviously, I've only just made this now. The shorter you make these wires, they're less likely to pick up that sort of RF. Make them short, add lots of ground, and you're going to eliminate that noise. Because if people keep saying to you when you're talking, oh, there's a whine in the background, there's a whine in the background, um, really we should, you know, including me, we should address it because we want people to hear our audio sounding good. And you can go into putty and increase and lower the volume. There's putty. You just log in with your IP address that the node calls out when you turn it on. Address So it does this every time it reboots. So as you heard, seven and then two, 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 and click open. And the username and password is root. Unless you've re, you know, changed it. Then just go down to 12 and go run. And then here, just press number two and enter. When you talk on your node, now I'm not connected to anything now because I've just rebooted. And it, by default, it will not connect to a node first time it turns on. So if I just quickly talk now. M0 FXB test test. And you want it about three quarters of the way up. We can connect to an echo server if we want. Just key your mic and DTMF star 340894. Let's see if we can. So it's quite hard on camera, so let's start again. There you are. Four, zero, eight, nine, four, connected to node five, three, nine, zero, one, six. So this is a test server, echo server, created by G7RPG. Thank you very much. And we can talk into it. I know I'm at a distance. M0 FXB test test. I think that's a bit quiet now. Let me just quickly talk closer. M0 FXB test. Okay, that's me talking closer. And I think that sounds okay. I could go, I think, a bit louder. Uh, and all I would do, you can hear other people testing as well, is just press enter. And it's actually set at 900, which is very high. So I don't think I'm going to adjust it. Now, if you want to adjust the part that you, you hear when the computer talks, instead of pressing... Two, you press three, but at the moment we're going to say enter. 
then we're going to have to go uh, W enter and that writes any changes that we've made. The other interesting one is if you come out, just go by going, let's try the word exit. Uh, let's try that. And then go zero. Try this one. Try um, try putting in, I know it's not the best picture, or try going down to 11, because this is quite a cool one. 11, then run. Looks a bit better in black and white. So now you can actually test your DTMF. So if I put in some DTMF commands, and of course you can test a lot more than this. Right, just did it then. You weren't really looking, but if we go out, you'll see that I'm putting star three, three, okay? And it tests a lot more than that, but I think that's great fun. So anyway, uh, get rid of those whining sounds and catch you on Hubnet 7.3.